Hello, my name's Julie Williams. I'm a registered migration agent with Migration Down Under, and I'm here to talk to you about partner visas. Partners, they're all individual, no relationships the same, and we here at Migration Down Under understand that. It's quite a minefield, and a lot of people think, oh, okay, I can just look at the website, do their checklist, fill out the form, and off we go. Unfortunately, it's not always the case. No matter how strong your relationship is, you really do need to provide a lot of documentation in support of your application. And it's not just documentation, it's making certain that you meet all the legal requirements, all the policy behind it that's hidden on the website that we're aware of as experienced agents lodging a lot of applications day in, day out. So the subclass 820 is a um, you're applying based in Australia because you're based here in Australia. You've got the ability to lodge an, um, an application whilst here. You're on a substantive visa, and the 820 is based on either being in a married or de facto relationship. Doesn't ma matter whether you're same sex, heterosexual, either way, um, you can apply based on marriage or de facto, Make it, dependent on meeting all the other criteria. Um, because the marriage certificate or maybe the registration certificate for de facto is not necessarily going to guarantee you the visa. It, you need to be able to show your committed relationship and that you know, you've got solid foundations there to be able to apply um, as a genuine applicant for a, for a visa. Now, you're applying for permanent residency. And however, if your relationship at the time of lodgement um, is less than three years old. So if you haven't been married or in a de facto relationship for three years at the time of application, what the department will be doing will be assessing your application for the 820 provisional stage. Um, that still gives you full work rights, access to Medicare, multiple re-entry, but it will be a two-stage process. And then a uh, two years from when you lodge your application, you will then be eligible to be considered for the 801 permanent residency stage. And um, both stages are taking quite a long time. Because you're already onshore and you'll have the ability to be here with your partner, you'll have the ability to work, um, you'll have the access to Medicare, they are not prioritising them as quickly as they are perhaps offshore applicants who are keen to be reunited with their partners. So you can expect lengthy delays um, in the processing. I know the department are looking, um, you know, trying to, to uh, work on this, but just due to the sheer volume and, you know, the number of case officers allocated to be able to process the applications, you can expect at least a 12 to 18 month delay. Sometimes shorter, sometimes longer. It just depends on your circumstances and whether at the time of assessing your application, whether there's further information required. Now, in addition to um, applying for the um, partner visa based on your relationship, you also need to consider you've got to meet all health and character criteria as well. These are both very important and often overlooked by the applicant and the sponsor. The, there is a waiver, but it just depends on your um, circumstances as to how long you've been in the relationship, compassionate, compelling circumstances, and the severity of either the health or the character. So if you do have any concerns and you're not quite sure, don't hesitate in uh, giving us a call or sending us an email in regards to that. Um, the second stage, 801, that is also taking quite a long time, um, about 12, 18 months. So you can sit, you know, the whole stage uh, for getting a partner visa or obtaining permanent residency, you're going to be looking at at least three years before you obtain that uh, permanent residency. With um, relationships that have children, then um, if you've been in a relationship for less than three years but you've got children, then you will be considered for permanent residency straight away uh, rather than that two-stage process of 820 and then 801. But look, there's lots to talk about with partner visas because as we know, uh, there's no one uh, relationship exactly the same as the others. We deal with a variety of people, all ages, all backgrounds, um, same sex, heterosexuals, it doesn't matter.
we really enjoy our partner visas because um, you know we're uh, we like that human side of the uh, the visa process and we're very happy to be uh, able to be give our assistance and expertise in making certain that uh, you'll get the outcome that you uh, that you deserve and that you're you're desiring so don't hesitate in giving us a call because if you're lodging an 820 or an 801 I'm assuming you're onshore so give us a call on 02 9419 5411 otherwise alternatively if you want to know more about the offshore and you're overseas send us an email info at migrationdownunder.com